Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to do yet another challenge. And this one is actually highly requested by tons of you guys in the comments below. So I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has requested this challenge. It's pretty interesting, it's pretty cool, and I'm really intrigued to find out what happens. This is because we're going to see what happens if we place down some trees in front of the train. We're also going to do this on the tram as well well if we have enough time in today's video but I am super excited to find out what happens because I haven't actually done this yet and I'm pretty interested to see if the train destroys the tree or if the tree destroys the train. And I just want to say thank you so much for 5,000 likes on my previous challenge. We set a challenge where if we hit that goal, I would have to do another challenge video within 24 hours. Well, we absolutely obliterated that goal, so here it is, guys. Here's the challenge, and of course, if you want to see another challenge video in the next 24 hours, all you have to do is hit that like button, and if we get 5,000 likes again, you will see another challenge video tomorrow. And feel free to comment in the comments section below as well exactly what challenge you would like to see me do in GTA 5 and it might make it into the next episode. Anyway, as you can see, the train is not here. It's not anywhere to be seen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my mod menu now and we're going to get ready to spawn down the tree. But before I do this, I'm going to make sure the world speed is down to 0.0 in case the train does randomly come out of nowhere. And now we're going to go into our objects. Now, I believe the object we're looking for is simply called tree. It's one of these things. Some of these trees are huge though. Look at this one. This one's massive. Now we've got to be careful on which one we choose because some of them won't even fit on the train track as you guys can see. So let me just scroll through some of these and we'll choose a tree to place down. Okay, we're going to use these trees, the Joshua tree. So this one looks pretty cool. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a few of these along the track right here. So let's just place down a few of them. They look pretty interesting. I think we'll get down 10 of these trees, maybe put down some more behind it as well. Uh, if we get, let's go for this one, a little different version of it. I think that's a different one. Or is this the different one? Oh, we'll stick with this one anyway. So as you guys can see, we've placed down a few of these trees. Let's just even it up on this side for you guys with OCD in case you don't like the way I've placed any of these down. So we'll just put down a few more. There we go. Okay, so I think we've got about 20 trees or so. How many have we got? We've got five. I think there's about 20. There's about 20 trees there. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go out of spooner mode and I'm going to spawn myself in a vehicle. So let's just quickly spawn in a vehicle just to show you guys that these trees are a tree. So as you can see, my vehicle can't get through this. This is definitely a tree. So in case you guys are wondering this, if this object is an actual object, sometimes they do glitch out. This is a real thing. This is like, it's a solid object. So the chance of getting a train through this I don't even know how it's going to work, so I guess we just have to wait and see and find out exactly what happens. Oh, here it is as well. Here comes the train. So let's find out what happens, guys. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be really interesting. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's going to happen with the train? What's going to happen with the train? Oh, what? What? No way! What? The train goes through it? That's a real tree. That's a real tree. You can't, like, you can't get a car through it. That's cheating. That's cheating. A train? Oh my gosh. So objects can't stop the train. That's pretty weird. This is a real thing as well. Like, you can't walk through it, you can't drive through it, but the train can go through it. That's pretty awesome. But that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty annoying though, but uh, I really thought we had the train on this one. I really did. Like, look at the trees. They're solid objects and you can't get anything through it. But the train just drives through it with ease. So that's kind of like a fail, I guess. That's really annoying. So I guess we kind of debunk the theory that a tree will stop the train. Because as you guys can see here, the tree is definitely not going to stop the train. So I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to try this out with the tram. So I'll, I'll catch you guys with the tram. So let's do this. 
Okay guys, so we're at the tram stop. Hopefully we'll have better luck this time. I honestly don't think the tram gets through objects as we saw in our previous video where we lined up loads and loads of tanks. The tram took a while to get through it. So I guess what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some trees down and we're gonna see what happens when the tram goes through this. But I have a bit more faith in the tram. Hopefully the tram will get, uh, it'll get stuck by the trees and hopefully we can get quite a cool reaction with this. So I'm gonna go back into my mod menu and we're gonna place down loads of trees I'm going to place them down on both sides as well, so uh, just just in case the tram comes from the other side. So let me just search for a tree, and I guess I'll catch you guys after the time lapse. Okay, so I guess that kind of finishes the time lapse, and as you can see, these trees are a little bit glitchy. Like, the cars are able to drive through some of them, but then the other ones they can't get through. So this is kind of interesting. You can't walk through the trees, so I guess there's that going for us. And now all we've got to do is simply wait for the tram. So I'm going to stand somewhere where I can see the tram. Oh, one just spawned down there. That's, uh, that's interesting. It just spawned down in the tunnel. So hopefully the next one won't be too long. We just simply wait around if there's one which just went down there. And we'll see what happens. So I guess we'll have to just sit back, relax, and wait for the tram to arrive. Okay, guys, here we go. The tram is just about here. It's just come around the loop. And let's check it out. Let's see what happens. Come on. Come on. Come on. No way. It does the exact same thing. So objects can't phase it. Objects are just not solid for anything else. But as you can see, the tram went straight through the trees. The train went through the trees as well. And that's kind of a shame because I really did think a tree would stop something like the tram or the train, considering it's an actual object. Like, as you can see, cars can't get through it. I can't walk through this. It's an actual thing. So that's quite interesting to see how the tram can't even get through the trees. And the train can't even get through the trees as well. So that's definitely interesting. I guess we debunked the whole myth that objects will uh, stop the train. As you can see, some vehicles are even able to glitch through this because some of the gaps are a bit too big. Um, but this is really interesting. So I guess the trees can't stop the train or the tram. And if you guys did predict this result, let me know in the comments section below if you guys were right or not. But I am not done yet, guys. We're going to try one more challenge. This is just something I thought of on the spot because I understand there's a few different variants of trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to place down every single variant of a tree and we're going to see if it stops the tram or at least if one variant of the tree will stop the tram. So let's do this, guys. Let's go into trees and let's spawn down each and every tree and see if it does anything. So I'm going to play the time lapse and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so here we go. We've placed down every single tree possible. You guys saw that. We went through the entire mod menu. Is the tram about to go? I guess we'll have to find out right now. 
Let's go and check out the tram and let's see if this works. So I guess we'll wait for the driver to do his thing. There we go. Okay, the tram should be on a roll. Here we go. Okay, so the tram is going through all of them. It's going through every single tree. You are kidding me. Every single one of these trees, the tram is going straight through it. So not one of these trees will block the tram. That's actually crazy. So I actually thought at least one of them would. But it looks like any sort of objects placed down on the tracks won't stop the tram or the train. So this debunks everything, guys. If any of you are asking for a certain object or anything else like that, objects are not counted as actual objects when it comes to the tram and the train. So that's really interesting. I didn't know that before. Now I do. Uh, so I guess we'll have to think of some other challenges to do which don't involve objects and maybe involve vehicles or people or something else like that. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please don't leave without smashing that like button. Of course, if you guys are new here as well, why not subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any more GTA 5 content like this every single day. But until next time, thank you for watching and have a great day.